Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Um, and welcome to a new era of Australian cricket. Um, yesterday we had the opportunity to congratulate and celebrate with Ricky. Today we start planning for the future and it's my pleasure um, to advise that uh, late yesterday the CA Board of Directors endorsed the recommendation of the National Selection Panel for the captains and vice captains in all game formats going forward. As from today, Michael Clark will be captain of the Test and ODI teams. His deputy will be Shane Watson. Cameron White will be captain of the 20 over team and um, Shane will be his vice captain. It's a great day. I celebrate and, and congratulate both gentlemen and it's um, my pleasure now to hand over Andrew Hildich who might like to give some details of how we got to where we are. Thanks, Michael. Um, firstly, I'd just like to uh, acknowledge um, formally uh, the role that Ricky Ponding's played in Australian cricket. Um, uh, he's led the side with one great skill, but passion, uh, determination, courage and integrity at all times. Um, and he's been an inspirational leader uh, from a personal perspective uh, to have had the opportunity and the privilege to work with him so closely and watch him inspire a team from close quarters has been a real honour. But that being said, this is a very exciting day. Uh, we move forward with uh, Michael Clark as captain and Shane Watson as vice captain. Um, Michael's been groomed for this role for some time now. He's had uh, opportunities uh, which have presented themselves when Ricky's been unavailable or injured. And I suppose the, uh, the best of those opportunities came with the 2020 World Cup campaign where we made the, the final. Um, and of course then recently after the uh, real disappointment of the Ashes defeat to take over the one day side and, and uh, beat England as we did was a, was a great credit to him. So uh, the time with Ricky stepping down is now for Michael Clark to assume the captaincy and he'll do a great job. Uh, Shane Watson, um, probably over the last 12 to 18 months uh, has become a critical member of our side and will be a criti critical member of our side moving forward. Um, He's been identified as having great leadership op uh, potential. Um, we see this is the ideal time for him to form part of the formal leadership group. He's obviously been part of the informal leadership group for some time, but now to take the role of vice captain. And as a get together as a team, uh, uh, look forward, I'm sure, to what is very demanding, but also a very exciting time in Australian cricket. Um, as far as the squad's concerned, I'm sorry I haven't got the squad in front of you, but. Um, the major changes, as, as I've said, is uh, that um, Xavier Doherty has come back into the, into the one-day side uh, for Jason Crazier. Um, Jason, we thought, bowled well in the World Cup for us, um, but Xavier was unavailable for the World Cup because of a back injury, as, of course, was Nathan Horrocks with his shoulder injury. Um, Xavier's obviously back now and fit, and we think it appropriate he resumes his spot in the Australian one-day side. Um, uh, the other, obviously, Sean Tate's retirement uh, created an opportunity and, and we're thrilled with James Pattinson's uh, selection. He's a great young fast bowler with immense potential um, and I'm sure he'll have a great impact in international cricket. Uh, the other change is David Hussey's not available to tour for uh, the birth of his first child. So, over to Michael Clark. Thanks, Andrew, and good morning to everybody. Um, firstly, can I say what an honour it is to be um, named Captain of Australia and uh, in the same breath, a uh, huge surprise to see Ricky stand down. I um, obviously spent a lot of time with Ricky in, during the World Cup and uh, as I said to him yesterday when I spoke to him that I was very much unaware um, of where he was at and had no idea that he was, he was going to step down, so that, that's been a huge surprise for me. Uh, to Jack Clark and the board members and Andrew Hilditch and the selectors, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um, one, I can talk on behalf of Shane and, and myself, we're both really looking forward to. Uh, to Ricky, who's been an amazing player for such a long time, and hopefully that will continue uh, with the Australian team. I just want to thank him for his um, help, support and guidance, and look forward to continuing um, our work together going forward. To Watto, congratulations, mate. We've uh, obviously spent a lot of time playing with and against each other for a few years, uh, since both being 17 and uh, I'm really looking forward to, to us working together. Um, looking ahead to Bangladesh, I think we've got, um, once again, we have a really strong squad and I'm, I'm confident we can get over there and, and be successful and start this, um, start this journey with three wins over in the subcontinent. 
Uh, I hand over to Shane Watson. Uh, I'd just like to um, say how honoured I am to um, be awarded the vice captaincy of the Australian team. I um, got a very surprising call last night from Andrew um, telling me that the, the board and the, sele the selection group had um, been kind enough to give me the opportunity to, to um, be Michael's deputy. Um, it's a big thrill for me. It's something that I really am looking forward to working very close with Michael to um, really um, build something big um, and new for the future. Um, I'd like to congratulate Michael for his appointments. It, it's going to be a very exciting time and a new time for, for all of us in the Australian team. So um, I'm sure he's looking forward and I definitely am. So um, it's going to be a very exciting time moving forward. But we, one thing I do know is we've got a fair bit of work in front of us to be able to make sure that we are able to um, get the results and us, us as a team being the place that we know we, know we can and, and want to be.